after the Netflix trailer for the Sussex docuseries, simply titled Harry and Meghan, was released earlier this week. Conversations surrounding the highly anticipated tell-all show have dominated such programs. The teaser was dropped on Thursday, and shows images of the couple as they talk about what went on behind closed doors. Responding, Anna fumes she is sick of seeing the pair crying. The trailer was released in the middle of Prince William and Kate Middleton's US tour. Discussing the royal controversy, presenters Joy Behar and Anna criticized Harry and Meghan, with the former stating the clip had intentionally been released to coincide with the Prince and Princess of Wales trip. Anna complained she was sick of the sight of the couple crying. She continued, I just wish that every time I saw Meghan and Harry they weren't crying and wiping away tears. She went on to ask her co-stars, so, do you make anything of this release? Do you think it was deliberate? Colleague Sonny Hostin replied, I didn't realize they had that much power within Netflix, that they could say, we're gonna drop it now because my brother and his, you know, his wife are coming to the States. Joy asked, don't you think Netflix made the decision rather than them? Co-host Eliza Griffin chimed, smart marketing. While Sonny maintained that the couple probably had no control over the release date of the trailer. Anna added, First of all, I think Netflix is great at marketing and I think Harry and Meghan are great at marketing themselves. They have done, they've now earned tens and tens of millions of dollars out of their story, which they have been telling, it seems to me, for years now, and they're very good at it. So I don't know if they had the power to tell Netflix, drop it when my brother is here, but I think they probably did have the power to tell Netflix, don't drop it when my brother is here. Moving on, Elisa brought up the claims of racism within the royal family, which have come into question again lately since Lady Susan Hussey resigned from her role after making racist remarks to a Buckingham Palace guest. The late Queen's lady-in-waiting was accused of repeatedly asking black British charity boss Ngozi Fulani where she was really from. Ms Fulani said she was totally stunned by the comments after answering over and over again she was British. Godmother to Prince William, Hussey has since apologized for the comments made. I do think that princess, or duchess at this point, Meghan told you exactly what was happening within the royal family, Elisa argued. She told everybody that there was racism. She told everyone that she was the target of death threats and racism repeatedly, that the family refused to protect her. Posting the trailer on Twitter this week, Netflix wrote, Harry and Meghan, a Netflix global event. Coming soon, only on Netflix. While the docuseries had not been given an official release date, it's clear viewers will be able to watch the revealing show soon. It comes as the public also awaits Prince Harry's memoir, Spare, which is set to be released in January. The book is set to cover the Duke of Sussex's life from childhood through to his decision to leave the royal family behind.